see if I can get you to have some fun here. <laughs> Old Fumble Mitz strikes again. The catchphrase is, now you're thinking like Dan. Oh, there he is. Most people don't throw these in a fire. They don't do that. There goes a responsible young golden boy with a little golden stash. That's how you do it. To start the season. Get him. It sounds to me like she just wanted you out of bed. Well, that's normally she'd rather I just. You're probably dropping some atomic bombs on her. <laughs> well, maybe that was it. When you fart a smell, a fart that smells that nasty, you should be proud. I said, let's all give him a round of applause. <laughs> and the whole class started cheering him. And it was the nastiest smelling fart, I'm telling you. It was like, it was so, you know when it smells so bad you can taste it in your mouth? Yeah. My nose is so bad, I can literally taste a skunk before I smell it. <laughs> <laughs> that's bad. <laughs> yeah, that's bad. That is real bad. I am super pumped up today. And look who's with me. There he is. Oh. The one and only. <laughs> Hi, everybody. You are very punctual when it comes to duck hunting. Uh huh. Your third hunt without shooting. Yeah. <laughs> are you getting an itchy trigger finger? No, I'm really excited. We were loaned this boat by being like outfitters so that we could use this to pull in. So we're going back here to this castle. Is and I, we've never hunted a duck hunting castle before, have we, Is? This is certainly a new thing for us. What a privilege it is to hunt this. We've never done anything like this before, that's for sure. All right, let's check out the suite here. Oh, it's got a little step up. You could kind of spoil you, could Yeah. We could. Then we could. <laughs> yeah. I can get used to this. They even have a stove back here. You got a stove, a heater, and everything. There's a heater. Well, let me give a little bit of backstory on this. I was contacted by uh, Bean Lake Outfitters, and they just said, you know, this is only the second year we've had these blinds. Would you like to come out one day this year, hunt these blinds, and um, then put our website up? And so they offered us just to hunt these blinds for one day. They're fans, I guess, of the show, and they watch it, and they said, hey, come out and hunt this one day. So we've never hunted a blind like this ever before, you know, um, and so we're really excited about this opportunity. Um, these are available. If you want to rent out, I'll put the website up. It's, we're really excited about this opportunity. So hopefully this will go well, and we'll put down some birds. I feel like if you ever wanted to hunt out of your garage or shed, this is what it'd feel like. It's opening day here, and we have not seen another person, um, so that's pretty exciting as well. It's not what I trained my son to do. I trained my son to muck around in the mud and goo and crawl on your knees through the muck. Places we hunted, sometimes people had to be rescued from the mud. But we have never had to be rescued. No, no. At least not from mud. I just, I just know when not to go in. When I get up to my knees in mud, I did have to swim out one time in the mud. Yeah, we do have some rescue stories. Yeah, I, I got a bunch of stories. Coming. Okay, so we've got some birds flying around out in front of us. Right there. Darn it, missed him. All right, we've got a bird down. We got the dogs going. I think she's got it. That bird fluttered over into the woods. She's got it. I think Candy's got it. That Candy just did the most amazing retrieve. We were over there in the willows, and I thought the bird was gone, and I had given up. And I came back, and Candy kept hunting, and here she came with the bird about three minutes later. Yeah. She sure. nosed it, and it was an amazing retrieve. Curious, curious. Dad, try to film that mouth. There's a duck right here, Dad. Get it on him. I got him. 
Hey. Really? Bird went down over here to the right, so we turned both dogs loose. It looks like they must have gone back into the trees. Stupid blue wing landed in the decoys instead of water swatting him. That's why I water swat teal, because for some reason I suck at killing teal coming off the water. I winged that stupid little jerk and landed over there and got in the willow. So I'm two for five with one lost. I could have finished off that shot for Elliot. You should have. But I was too distracted by my little mouse friend. Back and around, with little like or big, huge yeah, ears, just, like smelling our coffee, yeah. like. And then <laughs> Elliot shoots and scares him away. <laughs> the hell, it's like we're duck hunting or something. Jeez. <laughs> I was just like, I was right about to just extend my hand, like like the Green Mile, you know. Yeah. Bam! bam. <laughs> what the hell? Well, we're sitting here with two. I lost one of them, shoveler and a blue wing teal that we lost. Lucky we didn't lose both. Candy came up with that amazing retrieve, but there was a lot of movement right in the first 30 minutes, but they were all just strafing out pretty much. So We'll see. We'll, we're going to stay here about 12. We're going to cook some food here in a little bit. So this is a fun experience, though. We're having a good time. I had high hopes for this. I was very optimistic. On the upside, we have a spoonie. So. Mmm, that spoonful has a taste to it. Seems handier. Hey, ducks, get in here. Trumbles, come on. Ducks, ducks, ducks. Ducks. Huh? What? <laughs> what am I going to do? Mosey on back. Do, do, do. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna go, Run. I'm not gonna die. What if he had started running right there and falling down? Uh, yeah. I wouldn't have laughed right now. I don't felt that. I would have laughed later. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know what's the with the little woman waking up and starting to debate me on when I should be getting it. Sounds to me like she just wanted you out of the bed. <laughs> well, that's normally she'd rather I just. You're didn't probably know. dropping some atomic bombs on her. <laughs> Well, that, maybe that was it. Some hydrophonic superfluous. What was the what was the term last season? It's not what you said. What was volume, was volumetric deposit. Volumetric deposit. deposit. <laughs> he was making some volumetric deposit all over her sheets. <laughs> so I got I've got a story about dropping atomic fart bombs that happened in my school. I said I'm a teacher and uh I was teaching a lesson and all the kids were sitting on the carpet and these are third graders. And all of a sudden this little girl starts going nuts. Like, oh, oh. And I didn't know what her deal was. And then all of a sudden the smell hit me. And some little kid had farted, and I'm serious, top five nastiest smelling fart I've ever smelled, smelled in my life, without a doubt. And so it was so bad. Normally when kids fart in class, I just have to I try to just go right through it and not worry about it. And just like, all right, let's be mature, let's keep going. But this one was so foul that it, <laughs> everything stopped and the kids were almost passing out from the smell. It was so bad, I'm like, oh my goodness. I'm like, all right, who was it? Who did that? And no one said anything. And I said, listen, whoever did that, you need to take credit for that because <laughs> that was amazing. And so then when I said that, this little boy raised his hand. He's like, I did it, I did it. And I was like, class. When you fart a smell, a fart that smells that nasty, you should be proud. I said, let's all give him a round of applause. <laughs> and the whole class started cheering him and clapping him for this nasty, dirty, stinky fart. You just made that kid a lifetime. You made that kid a lifetime memory. Like, One time. <laughs> yeah. 10, 15 years from now, Somebody's gonna be saying, you know, what, what's some of your greatest accomplishments while he's in an interview or something? And he's just gonna think about that <laughs> when his entire class gave him his first standing ovation for damn near crapping his pants. <laughs> yeah, he didn't he didn't get the best grade in the math test yeah. or social studies <laughs> test. 
<laughs> no, that's nothing. But he got a full applause, <laughs> standing ovation from a room of third graders for how nasty his part was. <laughs> Even my teacher said so. <laughs> it was the nastiest smelling fart. I'm telling you, it was like it was so. You know when the smell is so bad, you can taste it in your mouth. Yeah. That's how bad it was. You would have smelled it, and you have no nose left at all. Uh, I'm gone. Listen, my nose is so bad, I can literally taste a skunk before I smell it. <laughs> <laughs> that's bad. <laughs> yeah, that's bad. That is real bad. I'll tell you what's fun, though. If you crop dust a classroom, <laughs> so if you have, you have a day that you know, like, you're teaching and your farts are really stinky, so you walk around the room, <laughs> You just blow one on the other side of the room, right by some kids, walk to your desk and watch them blame each other. <laughs> I haven't done that for a while, but I know there was a, a year, in, I know several times in particular when I taught at a different district doing that and going back to my desk and just laughing and watching them blame each other. <laughs> There's a little grebe out there you could get some shots of. Dad? Yeah. It's a little pie bill grebe you could get some shots of. Well, here's the back end of this blind. Like I was saying, though, this is certainly a fun experience hunting a blind like this. And I really appreciate him letting us hunt it. It's already smelling pretty good. It's certainly not real bacon. It's gonna taste good though, you know it is. Oh, yeah. How's this turning out? Oh man, that think, looks good. I think it looks good. It looks great. Uh, here's one. Here, here's give yours. it to Trumbull Miner. Trumbull Miner. Ooh, thank you. Wow. Thank you, boys. Yeah, thanks for bringing this, all these ingredients. Well done, Dan. A plate for the boy. Take it, take it. They landed on the water out here. What? I'm, I'm Mallard Drake. There it goes. I didn't even see him. I heard someone say, I'm like, what? what are you talking about? I'm watching the Mallard. <laughs> you filming it? Yeah. Hit it. I didn't take it on the water, did I? My memories. Yeah. A few seconds. Before. Get him, ass, get him! Well, it seems it does seem to be picking up a little bit. It does. There, I'll get that bird. I'm trying to get all this. Oh, she went under. Candy'll steal it. Is oh it man, Izzy's Candy's on top of Candy's it. going to steal it from her. That's what's going to take place. Oh no! They got it. They got it. They got it. That's not going to get away from them. I was looking at the pintail and like, take what? What are you talking about? <laughs> I need to get out there before it gets in the wheel. Let me get my hand. I've lost it. Oh, there it goes. It's slinking off. Yeah, it's... It's, off into those it's going to the left. Oh shoot, he gets into those willows. I lost it. Well, they're still out there searching. Well, I am seriously not happy about that turn of events, I gotta say. Oh my goodness, that's annoying. So annoying. Oh my word. Stupid. I've lost one duck all year and today I've lost two. I'm lucky I didn't lose three today. 
Well, here they come. Those dogs should, I mean that, I don't know. Izzy took a couple good stabs at it. Candy was right on it. Once it got into those willows, they just lost it. I chased it clear out through those willows and- Shot them twice. Man, that is disappointing to lose a bird. I hate losing birds like that. Someone's warming up by the fire. Little diva. <laughs> now she's warming that side of herself. Now that side. <laughs> That's funny, is. See, she does it again. <laughs> Wait on her in a second. <laughs> she is, she's rotating. <laughs> You like that heat is? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, this is certainly a cool place. And I'm sure as the migration continues to move on, more and more birds are going to be using this. So if you do want to check out these blinds, go ahead and check out Bean Lake Outfitters. I'll leave a link in the description and here on the screen. That's it for us. Thank you, Bean Lake. <laughs> <laughs>